When using sample purification beads, or SPB, in this protocol, vortex the tube for one minute to resuspend beads in the solution. Immediately add beads to a trough with a 1000 microliter pipetter. Transfer appropriate volume of SPB beads per well from the trough to a new 96 well MIDI plate using a 200 microliter multi-channel pipette. Transfer the MIDI plate to a magnetic plate and incubate for the specified amount of time while the pellet forms in each well. Keep a few points in mind when adding samples to the MIDI plate. Place samples every other column so that the pellet collects on the same side for each column. Odd wells work best for right-handed pipetting, even wells for left-handed pipetting. Position the plate at a 45 degree angle away from your pipetting hand for better visualization of beads and tips while pipetting into wells. When incubation is complete, keep the plate on the magnetic stand and without disturbing the bead pellets, use a 200 microliter multi-channel pipette to remove the supernatant from the well. Then, use a 20 microliter multi-channel pipette to remove any residual supernatant remaining in the well. To wash beads, keep the MIDI plate on the magnetic stand. Add freshly made 80% ethanol to a new trough and add appropriate volume to each sample well of the MIDI plate using a 200 microliter multi-channel pipette. Incubate for 30 seconds. Use the 200 microliter multi-channel pipette to remove the ethanol from the wells. The color of the magnetic base can affect ease of spotting remaining liquid in the wells. A clear magnetic base is the best, otherwise tape the base with colored tape to better visualize the liquid in the bottom of the wells. After the final wash, use a pipette with fine tips. Here we use a 20 microliter multi-channel pipette to remove any residual ethanol from the wells and check the bottom of the wells for any residual ethanol. Remove the mini plate from the magnetic stand. Carefully add appropriate volume of free suspension marker over the bead pellet at the bottom of each well using a single channel pipette.
Alternatively, pipette the resuspension buffer into a strip tube and use a multi-channel pipette to transfer specified volume to each sample well. Incubate on the magnet for the time according to the protocol. After incubation is complete, transfer the eluate to the corresponding wells of a new 96 well PCR plate using a 20 microliter multi channel pipette. Check the tips for equal volume during transfer.